everybody and a warm welcome to you to this Youth Provision Conference. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the day and to introduce you to the day. I'm Tina Upton, I am the Rector at Holy Trinity Church here in Blaken and I chair the Blaken Youth Provision Forum which is what BYPF on your badges and on the conference and literature stands for. We are a group that have been meeting more or less monthly for the last year or so, looking at what's provided for young people in Blaken, what isn't provided for young people in Blaken, and what ought to be provided for young people in Blaken. We've seen today all kinds of folk Officers from the local authority, officers from Avenue Services, we've had police here, children and young people themselves, basically the movers and shakers in Blaken who have spent all day talking about what's going on here for children and young people and how it can be improved and changed and grown. So the consistent messages are with the older children, they are still particularly happy with their sense of the future and still particularly happy with how they feel about their material possessions. When I think back to how happy some of the children were when they talked about some of their local facilities, again, um, the venue is one that was mentioned a lot. When they then talk about what's available for them as they get older, they become particularly unhappy. So the drop is really quite noticeable. It's not always about providing a structured activity necessarily. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's more about space, having a space or somewhere that just feels um, safe and also somewhere where young people feel accepted. They don't feel they're going to be moved on every five minutes. They don't feel that people are going to be irritated by them. Hands up if you play or played in your bedroom. Good. OK, hands down. At school, on the way to school, on the way back from school, OK, hands down. Last one. Just look around in a minute. Hands up if you played somewhere you weren't meant to. Yeah. Get a photograph of that bit. <laughs> Children and young people have got to have access to time where they can do the things where they want to do, space where they can do the things they want to do, and be supported by the kind of attitudes that allow them to do those things. And if you haven't got any one of those things, children and young people can't play. And also there's obviously this issue particularly to do with uh, perceptions of teenagers. We found a general intolerance towards children playing, but there was a real issue about the behaviour of teenagers. And it seems to be that people are more accepting of younger children's behaviour as play, but they don't perceive the behaviour as teenagers as play. They're more likely to see that as antisocial. This is what we're going to do today. In a minute, you see these big sheets of paper here? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get you to work on your tables to think about all the things that go on in Blaken. not only for like children, but teenagers have nothing to do with I think the, the two things that came out of our discussion was, um, firstly, that a lot of the problems are caused by intolerance. Mm. But that said, um, the intolerance is, is a cultural thing that's, that's happened and developed over uh, a period of years. We felt that going forward, it would be brilliant to have something central for everyone to access, to find out, perhaps on a web base or something, yeah. that would grow and evolve continu continually. 
The next bit is very much about, you know, your own table's vision of what needs to, what needs to happen in Blaken. What I'm asking you to do is this. If I had a magic wand, fill the gaps, sort the bad stuff, expand the good stuff, use your flip chart pads, write, write on your ideas, rip them up any shape you want, stick them on the board, and we're going to create a kind of mosaic of visionary brilliance. before lunch um, that we should have um, opening times extended like at um, the Delta and the Veni. Um, we've got a lot of feedback on things we can improve rather than have new builds like um, graffiti walls to stop people graffitiing all over Blake and they can do it on one wall. In Blaken, we should have more social, social places for teenagers, not only children, but teenagers to go as well because like all these discussions, that they're mostly about children and how they play, but we, f we forget that ch uh, teenagers, like, they're not as energetic as children. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking about like, maybe using the space that's available differently, instead of just leaving it as like, an open field. We could like, maybe like, add parks or different types of activity spaces on there. It's going to be used to develop a strategy, a plan, for children and young people on Blaken. And that's due to be around about January, I think. So all of this stuff will inform what goes in that in a very significant way. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for showing such um, enthusiasm and passion for trying to make this a better place make this place a better place for yourselves and the children and people who live here. Give yourself a round of applause. Oh man, it's good stuff. What's pretty clear in Blaken is there's a lot going on. It's, this is a pretty good place for the majority of children and people to live. Um, and, but also, there's a lot of opportunity to make it even better. How it's taken forward is, is, a compl is complicated, I think there should be, and there was a clear mandate for this from some of the ideas, a real push just to get people acting locally on the streets, just changing attitudes, changing cultures, getting people to, to do the tiniest things to improve lives. <laughs>